Kaneko Kita Notive and Ribs. Three of the biggest Roblox YouTubers were cancelled this year for doing absolutely disgusting and reprehensible things. But how did this happen? And how did these prominent YouTubers rise to such fame only to fall into such infamy and controversy for their actions? Well, to start off, Notive aka Jacob is currently a 20 year old ex Roblox YouTuber who is well known and respected in the community for his talented Roblox animations. Notive created his channel on April the 11th, 2015, followed by the oldest video on the channel being a base plate transparency, a Roblox machinima uploaded on July the 24th. This video is overall nothing too crazy and a pretty humble beginning for a soon to be very well respected and admired YouTuber on the Roblox scene. Notive over the year of 2015 continued to churn out short animation skit videos and had a big break with a video called Who's Cooking Tonight? getting over 100,000 views and being the most popular video on their channel for a while. Followed by an increase in channel growth in 2017 due to his videos getting more notoriety in the community such as his video called Sny Soda Can which had over 600,000 views and was even noticed by Oblivious HD himself, and he even made a video on Mr. Obvious which would come back later to haunt him. His channel continued to progress in the algorithm and at the end of 2020, his channel would be at almost 40,000 subscribers and his video called Roblox Warnings in a Nutshell was steadily trickling up in views. And 2021 would roll around with him releasing his most popular video to date on his channel called Roblox Moderation in a Nutshell on February 2021, garnering over 4 million views and making his channel peak, supported by collaborations with other massive YouTubers such as Chase Rooney at the time, but due to mental health issues he had stated on his channel community post, video progression gradually slowed down resulting in decreasing analytics and a more constrained upload schedule with a sporadic analytical growth. 2022 saw a very select few videos come out, except his video on Razor Flopper 2 in which gave his channel the last peak it would have, apart from having continuous downfall. Now the downfall started in September of 2022 which would result in drama for Notive as his ex came out regarding his crippling NSFW addiction to Roblox content under his alias Zolvasi. Notive later admitted that he had a problem and made a public statement on Twitter regarding the situation, and it seems many people actually supported him at the time despite him being a very obvious degenerate. Notive proceeded to make his last video on his channel after the situation, being the Roblox Slap Battles trailer after months of not uploading anything at all. And that's when it happened. An over 50 page Google document was dropped on September 2023 showing Notive's extremely sexually manipulative and disgusting behavior, in which covered how Notive posted cropped furry NSFW to Roblox, did disgusting things completely unwarranted in a voice call with Alf, who was a minor at the time and was 2 years 11 months younger than him, and when Alf clearly told him multiple times that it was making him severely uncomfortable, Notive continued to do it, and Notive also allegedly tried to pressure him into showing himself off too. Notive also, according to this document, had a massive Roblox NSFW animation addiction, as this document literally shows how he plastered this stuff all over R34. He also made R34 of his partner who was a minor at the time, Alf, and literally showed it to him. Yeah, this is pretty weird behavior. He also tried to meet up with the minor, also known as Alf, against their own will, despite them obviously being uncomfortable about these advances, and then he tried to masterly all message proof of his sexual activities with them once they were scared of possible backlash. Now, the hate Notive received for this situation was monolithic, and Alf wasn't the only victim involved with this situation. I made a video going over in detail the other people involved in this situation as well, via the Google document audiobook, and to this day Notive is bleeding subscribers and is now renowned in Roblox infamously for being one of the most hated Roblox YouTubers ever, but still remains in the Roblox star program, but he's made it very clear he has no intentions on ever returning to the platform. But the Notive situation pales in comparison to the massive fall off that Ribs experienced. Ribs created her channel on August the 18th, 2020, but created her first video on January the 2nd, 2021 with a video titled, Roblox Tower Defense Simulator Nico DJ Speed pain, and this video very quickly started getting her views and support. It was from here where she started posting a plethora of easy to follow relatable and consistent Roblox animation videos. During 2021, she was an avid fan of Tower Defense Simulator and therefore made multiple videos on the game too. As May rolled around, it seemed that each one of her videos outperformed the other. Her channel was literally blowing up and she had over 50,000 subscribers, and in July she had almost 200,000, with each video getting over a million views. Videos such as Funky Roblox garnered over 3 million million views for her channel as well and were the most popular at the time. September of the same year she hit over 350,000 subscribers as well, which is insane growth to see. Now as 2021 came to an end, her analytics made a final peak in October and then decreased from there on, meaning by the end of 2021 she had over 550,000 subscribers, meaning that she was by far one of the fastest growing Roblox YouTubers in a Roblox community at the time, because every few months she would seem to somewhat have a video which outperforms all the rest and becomes the most popular on her channel. 
channel, and she continued to upload somewhat consistently where she had a peak again in March 2022, but then it dropped off again. Because Ribs literally went inactive on her channel, the last video she made on her channel was called Toxic Plays and Roblox 11, and from then on, she literally went AWOL off the internet. But this silence was suddenly interrupted after her infamous mental and public breakdown incident she made, where she made a large rant on her Roblox profile basically explaining her struggles, and then went on to her YouTube community post to state to her fans multiple times she hopes they die, or game in themselves, and now all YouTubers should go to hell. And many people were actually being very supportive of her, because clearly she was going through some things, and she just proceeded to brush them all away and turn against them, even though people were literally expressing concern for her, because she was clearly mentally unstable and self-destructive, but she continued to insult and attack people, which was very uncharacteristic of her. It was after this that she had her infamous mental breakdown on call with fellow commentary YouTubers while she was eating a bag of chips and mumbling incoherent things. Um, what you've actually released- You're being annoying! Oh my god! I can't! I can't let this guy! No, no, no! Is you! But all of this pales in comparison to when she decided to wipe her channel off the internet on early September 2023. And you might ask, oh, why did she do this, Paolo? Well, allegations were brought up that Ribs, born in 2004, meaning they were 18 or 19 at the time, was sexting and inappropriately messaging a 15-year-old. She tells the minor that she's so horny she can rip out her ovaries. Then she says she seduced the 15-year-old, and also how she would let the 15-year-old do something very not family-friendly to her, and then something inside of her, and then said to the 15 year old if her sending a body picture to them cheered them up. Now keep in mind these allegations are very credible and screenshot proof was given to support the narrative that this was her account. Rips regarding these allegations still remains completely silent and her channel is still gone. She is however active on Roblox still, and it's pretty evident that she cannot be trusted with a platform. How many times are you going to make these horrible mistakes and proceed to get away with it? But the next YouTuber needs no introduction. Brian Seha, also known as Kaneko Kin was a giant in the Roblox community, but it wasn't always like this. Kaneko Kin first started his YouTube channel in early 2016, primarily making gameplay videos on various popular games at the time, such as Minecraft. This was all until early April 2018, when Pokemon Brick Bronze was deleted off the face of Roblox, in which spiked Kaneko Kin's interest to make a video titled Pokemon Brick Bronze Players Tears, compiling all of the children distraught about the game being taken down. Due to the video's massive success and leading him to his biggest month he's ever had on his channel up until that point, he became inspired to start covering Roblox drama and other commentary topics and staff people like Leafy and Pyrocynical. As a result, he became one of the fastest growing Roblox channels of the year, ending it off with just over 200,000 subscribers and being up there with the likes of Nafrix. And this growth didn't stop and wouldn't stop for the foreseeable future, as Kaneko Kin would continue his growth coming into 2019 while making some of the most iconic and popular videos the Roblox commentary community has ever seen, discussing topics such as the Coral situation, the epic critical situation, and many other big situations happening in the community at the time. But little did he know that 2020 would be where his career actually really took off, as in the beginning of that year, widespread COVID lockdowns plagued the world, forcing everyone to stay inside. This coincided with Kanekokin's interesting uploads, and everyone being quarantined inside of their houses, in which actually led Kanekokin to have one of the biggest years of his YouTube career, leading him to get over 50 million views in just one month, and ending off the year in November with being the first Roblox commentary channel to hit over 1 million subscribers. Until this day, his milestone has not been bested by any other Roblox commentary YouTuber. And if he made a video talking about a situation, everyone, and literally everyone, their grandmas, their dogs, their uncles, would tune in and listen to see what he has to say about it. He was truly one of the most influential and most well-respected community members on the platform. Each one of his videos would garner hundreds of thousands of views. At a time, he was practically uncancelable. However, a situation was rekindled from 2021 involving Kaneko Kin and the lies he had perpetuated about a YouTuber named Napi. This situation was from when Napi was 17 and Kaneko Kin was 20, over a three year age gap. Napi made a response video on October basically clearing up the situation and lies that Kaneko Kin had been deliberately trying to hide from the public for the longest period of time in the form of his Google document in which Kaneko Kin literally used specific wordplay to try and damage Napi's credibility severely with false Twitter callout threads labeling Napi as a pedophile. 
far. Keep in mind, Kaneko Kitten knew that these allegations were false, but never gave a disclaimer in his document that these posts were literally slanderous. Kaneko Kin in his document had also stated he never received nudes from Napi, which was later proven to be a lie, and used wordplay manipulation to his advantage to claim that the relationship was one-sided, when Napi quite literally proved that it wasn't, and that Kaneko Kin was complicit in receiving nudes from Napi, who was 17 years old at the time, which is literally legally a minor. So when backlash was arising for Kaneko Kin for the lies he'd been perpetuating for the longest period of time to even his closest friends such as Green Lego Cats, Kaneko Kin rushed to make a highly manipulative response video, attempting to act as damage control, and then removed it after an editing error, and then removed the second rendition of it after he admitted that it was manipulative on a YouTube community post. And what was the editing error you ask? Well, Kaneko Kin originally stated in his video that the relationship with Miskeeping, who was another minor he dated, who was 16 when he had turned 20, being a 3 year 9 month age gap, was merely platonic and nothing sexual actually transpired. But if Napi had actually proven that Kaneko Kin was literally sexting with him while claiming to literally be asexual in public at the time, I'm sure more lies are certain to come out about this situation, because why else would he have hidden this from public view? As a result of the situation, Naku came out on Twitter and said she's going to be sharing her side of the story, and as things stand right now, Kaneko Kin has literally stated on his YouTube community post that he's quit YouTube on his Kaneko Kin alias, and has quit Roblox content indefinitely, and currently has lost over 20,000 subscribers so far, way more than what Notive and Ribs has actually lost. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and make sure to comment your opinions about all these YouTubers, and which one in your opinion had a bigger fall off. Also, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and watch my previous videos too. And obviously, this video is not intended for cyberbullying, hate, or harassment. This is just an educational video going over the entire situation as a whole. Goodbye.